is I would like maybe everyone to put their interpretation of this in the group. Maybe that's something. Doesn't have to be tonight, of course. Quicker you do it, the better, but I think you'll have some of these notes, I think, um, Amy. But I'll just quickly roll through what I was going to talk about first with consistency. I talk about it all the time, but I was just really going to hammer it when I thought there was going to be eight people on. But <laughs> it's okay for you guys. You'll get it really, really quick. Now, I put in the little thing today about consistency for even times like when we're challenged like I have been lately. I always like using my stuff for an example because I'm living it to say that shit happens. Doesn't matter who you are, what effort you're putting in, how much work you've done, it doesn't matter. Shit's going to show up. And the way I've been lately, I had to have a two-hour sleep this morning, by the way, guys. I don't know if you can notice, I've been... I've been all over the show lately and it's not a bad thing but it's been challenging for me because it's me, my body telling me I'm going to take my foot off the pedal sometimes now and really be in tune with it because I go hard. In the past, I've gone really, really hard and burn out and I've been challenged by this lately because it's been my pattern to go hard at everything and if I don't go hard, I go harder and harder and what happens by doing that is when it gets into conversations and that, and I've been going hard, 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 and I go hard on the wrong person without thinking, I scare them off, things like that. If you're not fit and healthy in your mind or in your energy, and you would know this, Kyle, working many, many hours, man, you would definitely know this. Even Amy being a mum, you would know this too, that you're not at your peak performance when you have been going so hard on certain things. And the way I wanted to tie this in with the consistency part, and this is how I thought for me, why it served me well to be consistent for so long. Before I did everything, just being consistent with daily routines, even if it's very, very short, it doesn't matter what, whatever routines, you can talk about success from that, it could be any routine you've got, like Kyle for your work, I know you'll have something, you'll go set up a job or you'll go do something, there'll be a routine that you're consistent at that you know that you could just about do blindfold. So when times get challenging, you can just automatic go through it without the energy, without the go, without that. And that's what I've been lately, nearly on autopilot at times. That's where consistency is. They always say consistency is key because it's not when you're going good. Anyone can fucking, when they're feeling good, keep going on like consistency is easy then. You don't even think about that word then. Consistency comes when you're battling through and you're going hard, but when you can... You can, you can get to that challenge and not have to be at peak or not have to be like, what would you say, like, what example could I give? Like when I say things are easy and feeling good, like anything you've got going on in life, you get a win. Then you get another win, another win, and you're like, okay, this is easy, and you just keep racking up wins. It's happened to all of us. It might not have happened lately, and it hasn't happened in World Ventures, but that's cool because what's going to happen by showing up all the time, doing all the basic stuff consistently, the tough stuff consistently, when you get that win, that second win, then you're going to roll into that pattern of winning. Consistency is going to be there. You're not even going to think about it being consistent. You're just going to do it. You're just going to be it. Because it's not, it's not something that... Oh, hell, I'm just thinking how to word it for you guys because I, I, I know it for me because I've been challenged lately. I just know what I have to do. I don't have to force it because I've been consistent. Your body knows. If you, if you don't do it like me today, I had a sleeper before and I knew that I just had to do certain things. I just had to roll through them without putting high energy. You know, I just had to do it because I've been consistent for so long. My body just knew how to do it. Didn't take the extra energy or whatever like that. And this goes with simple stuff like the routines, like talking to more people, things like that, guys. Like I said earlier, I go hard talking to people a lot, a lot, a lot. But if you just consistently do it and you just get better at it, you don't put as much thought into it and much effort into it, when shit gets challenging, it just rolls off the tongue. It just comes out. You Second don't... nature. Yeah. And that's, that's just with, with the simple stuff too. It's definitely with the simple stuff. Like I can roll it out and I was saying to Amy the other day, I've, I have been wrecked the last few days, but I can smash out 60 to 100 messages in no time now with, with better language than I could when I started this. 
because I've been consistent with it. I've been at least sending them out every day and following up every day and looking at the scripts every day. That's that's what I've been doing. Look at the video every couple of days or the training. It's the same thing. You do five minutes of training a day. Look at the same bit of training for a whole week. One little video on the same training all week. You watch it every day, then you're just going to know it. It's um, one of them things. Wait, we've got Mr. Collis on here. Hello, Simon. You got video there, bro? What's that? Oh, we got noise. We got we got his high pitch voice. <laughs> I think I heard a giggle there too. But it, it's like anything, and we and we know these guys. Consistency is key. Like I don't know if you're into sport or whatever you do to get a skill, you've got to do it consistently over and over and over. I use the example of like when I wanted to learn how to kick left foot in footy. I oh, had, Jesus. I had no choice because like my right groin was always buggered, so I had to kick with the left. But I had to keep doing it over and over and over. And then now, well, not now, to, if I played now, the last season I played, people were starting to think I was a left footer because I just kept doing it over and over and over until it became second nature. It's like, it's like anything you do in life. And they always say it's key. Whatever you do, consistency is key. But you want to get to that point where you're not using the word consistency, I'm consistent, because you just are. It's a good affirmation to use. And when you don't feel you need it, because you're just doing it naturally, that that means you've been consistent. So it, it is. It's simple stuff, guys, this. Master the mundane. If you're consistent in something, choose something, master it, the simple stuff. Do that forever. Do the, do the simple stuff forever, and then you just do little little steps. Get one thing right. And like I said, you, you do need the wins, guys. You do need the wins to show that that consistency is going to pay off. That's that's really, really important. And that's just subconsciously too. It's because you've got to lock in something for all the hard work. That's why once that happens, the consistency part, it means so much for the build-up, for the foundation. But then when it starts to roll, then the wins come consistently. Imagine you could say, yeah, I'm consistent at winning. There's, You know what? There's a good affirmation for your morning success priming. I'm a, I'm a consistent winner. It's done. I have one consistency. The big thing to, to say to yourself a lot, if you're telling yourself all day, every day that you're consistent, you're going to annoy the shit out of yourself. So you're going to want to stop saying it, but you're going to, you're going to be it. And like I say, you can use any examples. Actually, that's what I'll do. Put, this is a good one. Put it in the group and this is sort of a task for the next couple of days, but definitely do it for you guys that have made the effort to come on here. This, this is going to help show the other guys in the group that haven't showed up that this can mean something to learn something. Um, in the group, skills or whatever you've learned over life, because you've all got skills. doesn't matter how simple it is. Probably the more simpler, the better. Because it'll show how easy an example consistency can be so powerful. I always use the daily routines. Because I would love everyone to do them consistently for freaking, what, 20 months like I have. So now I can just grab off the questions off the top of my head if I need to. I can ask myself the questions. Like, I was sitting here the other night with Chi Chi and she was asking me the questions. It was a debrief. That was cool. It was out of comfort zone, but it was cool because we consistently been doing it for so long. But a skill is a good thing to, to put to it. Being consistent with something. I know, Simon, I don't know if you can unmute yourself there, bro. Being a superstar footy player. You've you got to do this stuff over and over, man. I think you were talking about teaching someone to kick a footy. It's, it's, if, you, if you put this as an example for a skill you've learned over life, and then relay it into what you're doing building a business in network marketing, you think of the comparison of how long you were consistent of that skill you built up over life compared to how long you've been in network marketing wanting to get it right. So put an example in the group, a skill you built up over life. Could be in sport. Sport's a good example, guys. Or even, Amy, whatever whatever it is. Oh, look out. We've got Paul. Lee, how are you? This is good. I'll excuse Lee because I'm going to blame Amy for holding him up. 
Oh, now they're going to be cheeky. Hey, Porty, I want Porty to come on here really, really badly. Porty, at least unmute yourself. Don't be afraid of the video. Anyway, I'm setting a task for everyone coming on now in the group. Pick a skill that you've taken years and years to learn. Because of all got them, it doesn't matter. Sport's a great example of you. It could be drawing or art. You could be into art or something like that. But you've had to practice and practice and practice. You'd have to do it consistently. And it doesn't mean daily. It has to be consistently like two nights a week, like training. That's what it is. But it's consistent. It's repetitive. And then put an example how long it's taking you to learn that skill to master it, if you will, if you've mastered it or if you're really, really good at it. Then look at it. Give it a little example. How long have you been in network marketing? And you've got to learn these skills. And it'll probably blow your mind how long it's actually going to take to get good at this stuff if you do it consistently. But the, the, the more you do it, repeat it, day after day after day, 10 times a day, 20 times a day. And I'm going to get to why I've just used this here because I've got some cool notes here about questions to ask consistently. Compare it. And then it'll probably take your pressure off yourself about, well, I'm a pup at this game. I'm brand new. Even if you've been in this for two years, you're brand new. It's like, yeah, it's ten, perfect, Kyle. So imagine you're doing this for two hours a week. You would take, you wouldn't put so much pressure on yourself, would you, going into an interaction? You would tell yourself, I'm brand new at this, I'm learning. Your truth is good enough. Always remember that. So if your truth is good enough, that you just need to keep doing this till you get better, it's going to take from you, you're not going to feel as pressured on yourself because I know most of us and some of the guys that aren't on even, most of it I get is you get a few knockbacks and you're like, this is not for me. It's consistent. It's like 97% of network marketers don't make it past 12 months or something. It's because of that. Because they're hard on themselves because they want to master it straight away. What do we got, Simon? No video. Yeah, we got that. <laughs> it's a nice photo. Put it no, in wake Beth up. <laughs> 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 she missed my call. Wake her up. Hit her on the head with the phone. Say, from me. I want to talk to her about network marketing. No. Yeah, no, I'm muting that. <laughs> Nah, <laughs> it's got the last. But you get what I'm saying here, guys, of why it's key with this. Like, look at the comments of what Kyle's putting in. I love you to say that. Put it somewhere up in your room on a whiteboard or whatever. And no, don't be so hard on yourself because to get to 10,000 hours, that's, that's a lot. So I want to divide 24 hours into that. Not that you're going to do this 24 hours a day. I'm not doing that. Nah. No, even eight hours a day. It's, it's one of these things. And the more you know this about it, the less pressure you have on yourself going into conversations. The less you're going to be hard on yourself when you get a no because it's not your problem. Fucking brand new. Who cares? Seriously. Go and laugh at yourself. I do now. I, I don't get shit right. I say the wrong thing. I get frustrated. After, I'm like, gee, that was a fuck up. <laughs> it's like, next. <laughs> <laughs> but it all goes back to that guys it all goes back to knowing that I've just got to keep doing it I've got to keep showing up consistently be it 2 hours a week be it 20 hours a week but just have it as a consistent basis that's what I said to you the other day Kyle the balance, balance is key in these two guys but knowing that your target be it if you want to put an hour figure on it with 10,000 hours have that and just break it down so you're not so hard on yourselves. It's going to take two or three or four years to get there. That's cool. That's okay. That's what I mean. So many people fall out of this game because they fail because they like, no, it's not for me. Because they forget the whole thing. They're brand new at it. Simple as that. Then when I said before, you start getting wins 
like sign-ups or building your business or going on more dream trips, whatever your wins is in this case, you start to forget about showing up and you just do it because you know it works. Then that 10,000 hour figure or whatever it is doesn't seem so big because you're like, actually, I'm pretty good at this. So the self-talk changes. Then you take more action just because it feels good. Everything we do in life is through a feeling, remember. So you, the quicker you can get to that feeling good part, oh, that's a fucking shocking picture of Graham. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I said know, everything you do, do in life is for a feeling. That, that gave me a really ill feeling. <laughs> At least you're on now. Come on now. Hey. Do not pick on Grant Knight. <laughs> hey, you can pick on me for that. It's like come up on the screen. He's like, <laughs> 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 oh shit. Nah, that's all good. It's still one. But yeah, just like I say, that's we all know what consistency does. Um, I'm going to just run through what I want you to do. Please, everyone, do this in the group. Everyone do it in a group. It just helps highlight it for the others coming in. But a skill you've learned over life, it might be a job, might be sport, just something you're good at. And if you can't find something you're good at to put in the group, it's a big reason why you have to do it. Big reason. Surely, Josh, you would have seen Gary V's um, video on this. What, consistency? No. If you don't know what you want to do in life, find something you're good at and do that. Yeah. Or was it find something you're good at or find something that you love and then just either work on it or continue? Yeah. It is that simple. We do a lot of... I've done a lot of stuff on life purpose and things like that. What people's purpose is in life. And even mine's changed a little bit. Because I never knew what it was. My purpose wasn't to go dig holes in the fucking outback. Shit, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I Why never, not? No, but I did enjoy it to a certain extent. Only because I knew I was going to get bloody $4,000 a week. That's, that was it. Not the fact that I was not going to have any, like, bloody away time or whatever. Yeah, I was going to have some cool stuff, but... Or see me. Just completely ditch me. Hey? You and yeah. Dad just completely ditched me. Yeah, but that's that's the thing. But it goes back to it too. I was bloody good at that too. It's another thing. A lot of people get stuck in their job, if you want to put a different spin on this consistency thing, they get stuck in their job. They get into network marketing, what it is, something new. They give it a go for 6, 8, 10, 12 months, thinking, oh, but I was good at my job. Then they start to forget why they wanted to get out of there, but they're good because they've got a skill because they've been consistent for years and years and years. So what do they do? They fall back into something they're good at. Ah, Porty's on. <laughs> got to work out that technology. I knew she was there. She's writing comments, so I have to read them out. Digging holes up bushes so much. <laughs> it's nearly as much fun as water, filling up that water cart, Porty. If anyone doesn't know Porty, me and Porty worked up in the Pilbara for a while. That's how I know it. Superstar, water car driver, moxie operator. <laughs> Had to throw that in there. But someone wanted to just give me some of the guys that have been on for the first half of it, just some of their quick takeaways from the start of this. Just for Grant there while he looks like he's getting ready to have a massage. <laughs> how could I not pick on Grant? <laughs> <laughs> You want to fire away with a couple, Kyle? I've got six. I don't know, mate. I suppose just to master the basics and utilise them consistently. Yeah. Is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah. Just any of the takeaways are just what I spoke about quickly. Yeah, I, I think that's a good one. You know, just you got to master the basics. Um, slog it. When I asked about the compensation plan when I first signed up, he said, you know, the compensation plan could be dog shit um, <laughs> if you don't know how to master the basics. And, and it's true. You, you could have the best compensation plan and not know the basics and you're not going to earn any money. But, you know, you could have a competitor with a completely dog shit uh, compensation plan but knows how to master the basics and they'll earn more money than you. So yeah. I think it's, yeah, key to master the basics. It is. 
And like I say, the, the basics are right now is like what we've talked about in these few trainings and that, which I've had to go back to and change to since I started. And, and it's work. It's like master them conversations. Master just showing up. That's, that's the, the number one thing. Show up consistently. Master that. Set aside time each week and just hit that mark of time you've put into this maybe. There's a good basic to start. Show up consistently. You get better at the language you use the more conversations you have. What about you, Joshy? What do you reckon? Takeaways from the start? Um, I don't know. I've got a fair few lines down. Just, yeah, master the little things and the big things will come. It takes, what, 10,000 hours to master something. That's about seven oh. years. So you master the little things as you go. And then, yeah, everything we do in life is for a feeling. Boom. And your truth is good enough. So don't be so hard on yourself. If you've, you've got that knowing that we're all brand new in this, two, three years, whatever it is, six months, we're all still brand new. If you did the math on it, far out, 10,000 hours is a long way away. <laughs> it's a long way away. Seven, uh, seven years is a long way away. It is. That's, that's what it is. What about you, Amy? Any, Amy and Lee, any takeaways? You were on fairly early. Sorry, what was that? It's raining like cats and dogs and full drives down here. It's so freaking loud. Yeah. What do you have to take away? Yeah, not for dinner. <laughs> now, nah, key takeaways from the first 15 minutes. Takeaways from what you're listening to in the kitchen. Oh, I'd like just be, just consistency is key. Like, you know, sometimes you feel like it's an uphill battle and it's like, oh, one more thing, one more thing. But it's, like you said, it's consistency and it's showing up and, you know, every day I still do my motivational post. It drives some people insane, but I don't give a shit. I'm still going to do it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's it. But same as me, like this last week. I've been consistently showing up on social media for, what, 20 months, really consistently. It's been one day here or there, but this last week, and it is a bit of a tactic, but it's something I had to take the foot off. And at the start of this, I was talking to the guys we were on earlier about how I usually go 100 mile an hour. Yeah, that's right, Simon. Kyle's made a good point there. Check out what Kyle's put in there too, guys. Absolutely. Gold. Um, but, yeah, I made the point, I've had to break this last week, and that's calls, messages, everything, um, because I usually go harder, 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 but then I'm not going to be of the best service. But because I've been so consistent, you know, I still had a break, but I've been able to just still roll through from stuff. I've still been able to do it because it's just there. Like I say, laying in bed the other night, like asking themselves the questions, the day-to-day -day questions, because I've been doing it for so long, it just comes out, still doing it. It's, that's why you just got to be consistent of this. Because then, like I go again, once you get one win, two wins, you forget about being consistent because you just do it because it feels good. Instead of forcing it, instead of having to do it as a chore. Because most people don't want to show up so much. They don't want to do the mundane because it feels like a chore. It feels like a job which they want to get away from. And that's true. I, I'm the same myself. It's like, how many fucking no's can I get until I get enough no's that I start liking the no's and I bring on the no's because there's been more yeses in between them. It's like people that don't train their legs. <laughs> <laughs> train your freaking legs, boys. <laughs> yes, I just, I just found a skill. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, apparently my biceps are as big as my calves. I fucking hate that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if, if you want to pry me to oh, <laughs> you know, our, our, our fearless leader, Michael Sloggett, he is the king of skinny legs. <laughs> <laughs> about that now so we'll shut up about that yeah simon's the same there's, there's many of us see why should we change 
We might have to go to South America where they get calf implants. How else are we going to fit into those skinny jeans? Yeah, well, or skinny jeans. I I don't wear pants, so... Aren't you going to Peru? I am. I am. That's not the the reason I'm going to Peru. (laughs) (laughs) The truth comes out now. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, well, watch... Watch this space too, guys. I'm, I'm doing my best to interlink some World Venture stuff with a trip to Peru. Um, I've, I'm talking to them. They're organising my visa, things like that. I think they're going to be powerful little points I could add into this trip. Um, the flights are going to be tough because World Ventures flights take two days. Even though the price is similar, I don't have two days. So I'm still talking to them about that. But I'm going to interlink as much of the World Ventures and that little blue sign as I came into that trip. And... If you don't know, and anyone in the network, in my network, in the team and everything, just tack, tack onto it. Um, working with Regan Hillier, she's just released her own magazine. Yeah, I've seen that. We're going to have a TV production crew going to Peru. That little blue sign is going to be up and about. That's, that's a big part of my plan as going over there because it's just simple. It's not, I don't have to go out of my way to do anything. But I want to interlink some little stuff on the trip that utilises a product. I just thought I'd throw that in there. Wait, so are you doing a dream trip there or not? Nah, there's no dream trips either side of it. And where I'm going in Peru, holy shit. It's a um, 12-hour boat ride up the Amazon. <laughs> oh, fun. <laughs> when they get that on a dream trip, I'll pay for every motherfucker to go there. <laughs> I don't, yeah, no, don't, don't dip your finger in the waters if you're piranhas there, I've heard. If anyone knows about ayahuasca, it's going to be a different sort of dream trip anyway. <sighs> <laughs> but anyway, back on track, back on track. What I wanted to do too, consistency is easy to know, guys. Consistency is easy to, easy to do if you, if you just understand why you're doing it and how long you've got to be consistent for to get the result. That's it's, it's, so, it's self-explanatory. But we get challenged a lot of us stop when we should just go into sort of autopilot and back off ourselves and not be so hard on ourselves and just let it happen. Cool. All right. I was going through my notes earlier and there's just, fuck, there's so much gold from momentum. Like, seriously, it's just... And some of it we can't even roll out yet because it goes to when you've actually got a few people going. Um, so we can't even get into the next lot of juicy stuff. But I'm going to hold on to it for a while. But something here is good questions to ask yourself. They're, they're really good questions. Something I've got to get better at too. Like I say, when it comes to events and things like that. They give it... Five steps, and I don't know if you got these, Amy. I'd say you would because we both had writers cramp writing all this stuff down. But a good question to ask yourself at the end of the day how many people, how many conversations have I had? Like, seriously, you might have dropped the word world ventures or travel in a conversation. Guess what, guys? Celebrate that. Doesn't have to be the opportunity. Just ask yourself that question How many times have I, have I mentioned it today? I drop travel into every conversation I have with someone new. I do. I just drop it in there. I travel a lot. How hard is that to say? They mightn't hear it. Who cares? Then just celebrate that sort of stuff. That's the point of these questions too, is not being so hard on yourself so you give up after a couple of no's and stuff or it's too hard, this is not right, it's not for me. You've got to, you've got to do this. And this is ties in to be consistent too. Ask yourself these questions every day and you're going to do this more. The more you say no to these questions, you're going to say, fuck, I'm sick of asking myself this and not doing anything about it. I'm just going to tell people about something to do with travel. Whatever it is, whatever you're doing. Yeah, perfect, Kyle. Kyle, maybe I should think you should do the next training, Kyle. Bullshit. Hi, brother. Bullshit. No, serious, man. It's good stuff. We're a team, Kyle. I've had a turn. Now it's your turn. I think you've done a good job on the last one. I reckon you get another turn. Oh, good mate, job. I reckon, good job. I, I reckon <laughs> you could outshine me, Kyle. And then after you have a go, I reckon, Josh Mack, you could step up. Oh, no. Nah. I want the Riddler to step up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. Where are you, Riddler? 
Hello, darling. I mean, you're gorgeous. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Enough said. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Nah, I see Simon if we're all doing it, you're doing it too. Yeah, Mr. Collis is on in Porty if you can hear. Everyone's gonna have a go at this guys. It's something that I am gonna bring out. But I I've been thinking about this a lot. It's, yeah, one day, but I, I can set little tasks for you to teach or talk about. You don't even have to teach. I oh, see that'd be right. Yeah, even if it's for five minutes, I'll, I'm going to run the because, I, like I say, I've been really thinking about how to get more interactive for all you guys going up to help you just whatever it is, and it could be something in World Ventures. It might not be. All this sort of stuff, life stuff, can interlink with what we're doing with World Ventures. It all does because mm. it's meant. This is part of your life, part of creating it. So I'm going to roll out something like that, but I'll set them for people and I'll, I'll nominate. If you get nominated too, guys, got to show up. Cough, cough, bit sick. Hey, reception's down that night. <laughs> <laughs> Just won't pay your bill for the month before it. <laughs> Talking of reception, my, this is good. Even though I'm chewing a shitload of data on my phone with Hotspot, it's actually working really good in this corner. Oh, don't worry, I'm three gigs over my 10 gigs a month and i still got two weeks to go. Yeah. Oh, shit. But back to the I'll, go, I'll go back to the question. How many of you showed personally today? Now, this is my number one question I ask myself. I'm, I don't ask how many people have I spoken to or how many people have I messaged or anything like that. Yeah, I've got a massive list, but for me, the one that matters the most is how many people have I showed personally. That's important. Now, today, I've only showed the video once but I had a meeting which was not planned with someone about Dream Trips Local. To me, that's worth at least five to ten. So I celebrate that. And I'll go back to it. This is all about not being so hard on yourselves, guys. That's why, this is why you do this. When you're pushing yourself a little bit and you look back, well, I've actually done something today. I've actually done it. I've got to the point where I've invited, where I've shown... Get good at inviting, master the mundane, get good at inviting, get good at this business. I don't know how many leaders have said that. That's what they keep saying. Michael keeps saying it to me now. If I haven't, he hasn't spoken to him for two days, he sends me that straight away. Where's the three-way messages? How many have you shown? Simple as that. If you don't show, they don't know. Ask that to yourselves every day. How many people have you showed personally today? doesn't mean just go to your friends list and flick out the video 10 times and say, oh, I've shown 10 people. Because we all know what happens there. <laughs> Most of them don't look at it anyway. Even when they say they're going to look at it, they don't look at it. No. This is a good one once you get going. This is one that I use as well. I actually set when I do my results creator, I don't use the word closed. I say personally enroll. Maybe I should use both, but that's the question. How many have I closed today? Imagine how many times you ask yourself that at night and you go zero, zero, zero. You're going to get pissed off with yourself, aren't you? You're going to like, fuck, I've got to change that. It doesn't mean getting down on yourself. It means getting better at it. Yeah, but imagine the feeling when you do. You can say, I've done one or two. And like I go back to before, you be consistent with this. You get one, it feels good. You're going to follow up with a second. I did it the other day. I'd had a tough run, a really tough run. As soon as I got one, boom, boom, the next conversation I had led to a phone call. A couple of days later, I got two. It happens, guys. I look back at all of what I've got now. I've got mine in numbers because I feel good. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to make that one that's a bit tougher that I was holding off on talking to. Or I'm going to say to that person, I'm going to cut them off my list. That's been a cracker this last, this last week. That language just saying to people, we're going to come. I've got, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I was going to say, it. I've got like, <coughs> women come back like this. They get, they, I don't know what they think. It's really weird. I've got one chick send me like a picture of a nude chick on the beach. I don't know where that came <laughs> from. And then she said, <laughs> then I've got fucking heaps of messages coming through. Then she said, 
She goes, oh, I thought we were just going to become friends and build a relationship through Facebook. And I'm like, fuck that, you're off my list. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it like that, but I don't want to see nudie shots of someone that's not even them. Got to have a story linked to it. But you see what I mean? It's all going back by just showing up consistently and just using that language again. I couldn't close on her, so I move on to the next one. Here's now, here's something. Where did you go with that one the other night? What was that? Sorry, I was just going to say, how did you go with that one the other night? That um, one me. you thought was spam. She blocked me. Because I... I just went through it before, but it she straight away. Because that went, that was backwards and forwards. I'm just going to find it. And she was like, yeah, I'll go gold. What have we got here? I was looking at it before. Why did it come up? It came up for some reason. Yeah, no, I asked a question. Are you ready to get started then? Did you see gold? And then mm. other than nothing, she's seen it, she's seen it. And I went back because I was going right back through all my messages this morning to make sure I hadn't missed anyone on my list. And then, do you know how it gets blocked or they unfriend you or whatever? It's like this conversation has been, what's the name by Facebook? Mm. And all the messages are missing in between yours. And they just showed mine. I'm like, you ready to get it started? Obviously not on this. <laughs> but it was funny. It was mm. fun while there. Hey, I got to practice the language. I've got to find that. Yeah. I'll tell you what's been tough too, and you're probably going to find it too. The more people you talk to, um, what I found this week, a couple of the guys I've been talking to, they've had like people pass away in the family and things like that. Um, with me, that's been a tough one because I've been calling people on excuses and that stuff comes up. <laughs> and um, I just wanted to throw that in there because for me that was – that was actually tough to deal with without being so blunt. Because a lot of this stuff, guys, you would agree, the language we use is pretty straight to the point. The stuff we're learning is pretty well, well, you're in or you're out. You're on the list or you're off. So that's been, that's been interesting for me this week. I'm hoping I dealt with it okay. I can only offend so many people. <laughs> right. <laughs> Now, this is, this is a good one. Now, this can work in, guys, with travel parties and stuff. Now, while I'm on here, it is all on the travel parties page. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. No idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I actually have a plan for you, Josh. In the next couple of days, I'm going to have a chat to you to catch up with someone who's in your area. Sweet. All right. Same as you, Simon. Um, everyone who's in Melbourne town. He goes, oh, Josh, Lee just said, get yourself to schoolies and sign up everyone at schoolies. <laughs> just walk around with a big blue sign. Yeah. Reverend, you <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> Why not, Josh? No, I didn't say no. Anyway, more yeah, walk around with a big blue sign. This is what I do. Sign here. That's it. Sign up. Let's go. <laughs> but I'll go back to it. <laughs> School. I've lost what I was going to say. But travel parties. <laughs> travel parties. And I've been talking to you, Simon and Dave, about this. Um, something for yourself too, Porty. The dream trip local. <laughs> All right, what's Simon saying? <laughs> Won't be the only thing you can sign up for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've lost our thing here. We've lost our way. I apologise for the boys' behaviour there, Porty, if you're still there. Amy, Amy's all good. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, at least, yeah, yeah, smile and Simon, this is good. Making a joke, I like it. Now wake Beth up. <laughs> nah. <laughs> my point about the next question, and this is a good one. Oh, utilizing dream trips local to go out somewhere for dinner. 
get your mates or your friends or whatever. You don't have to tell them about World Ventures. You don't have to. Go out for dinner. Invite out to dinner at a Dream Trip local place. Go pay for dinner. Say, hey, shit, I just got a few points back in my Dream Trips. What's the name? Why everyone's splitting dinner and giving me money and I went and paid for it. Imagine you could do that once a week. Just say, all right, how many people did I invite out to dinner this week at Dream Trips Local? Now, we up here, I know Grant, we've got bugger all um, for now. But there's activities too, guys. If you go into that app to activities, normal activities, like even airport transfers and stuff, you can book through the app. Simple activities, just go do it. Tell people about it. That question can be varied here. It can be ask yourself a question, how many people do I show? Or how many people have I told about something I've done to do with the product? And means utilizing it too. Means having a look in there, guys, for your local area. It's a good way to learn what's on the app. It's a good way to learn what's actually in the product. There's, there's a lot in there, especially you Samsung phone users, for God's sake. Yeah, you bastards. I can't help you. <laughs> no. And I'm not getting a Samsung to learn it. One of you Samsung users. But that's a good thing too. Now, it sort of is a variation of the question, how many of you booked a dream trip? Now, I've been looking to book a dream trip myself and nothing ties in with my next two months at all. And it's probably the same with all you guys. But keep looking at them. Keep looking at them. That's the key. Keep looking at them, especially for six or eight, even 10 months down the track. You can book it now still. You can book it now. You can't. They can't beat the price. Nothing can beat that price. Simon's cracked a few jokes and he's going to bed. <laughs> nah, that's all right, man. I know you're working stupid hours. Appreciate you getting on, dude. Take people out to dinner. That's a, that's a huge one. Dream Trips Local. Huge one. And it also ties into travel parties too. Yeah, that's next step. But travel parties too. You ask yourself once a week. There's a travel party on once a week. I know there's three up here and I haven't been for a couple of weeks. They are about 40-odd minutes away. Same as like for Grant. They're a long way away um, with everything going on. But how many people have you invited to them? Even if you don't go, or well, how many people have you mentioned it to? What do we got? Simon. Oh, my messages aren't working now. Ah, um, <coughs> Wine & Co. Yeah, see, here's a, I just wanted to mention that. The Meat Wine & Co. in Melbourne is one of the top restaurants. And there'll be a lot in Sydney too, Kyle. You've probably already... Like, had a look and see what's up there. But that's... Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, that's the sort of calibre of restaurants we're getting on, guys. But ask, this is all about asking the questions. How many people did I invite or how many people did I tell about this this week? Could even be, if you, if you want to include in that question, how many people did I, did I reach out to on Facebook? Ask yourself that question about the product. But these questions, are the reason I wanted to just put these in there is just something to ask yourself each day. Something to ask yourself to, to either push yourself or to stop getting a zero answer at the end of them and change it to a one or two or a three. So then you're not so hard on yourself because you are doing the work. You could even make up checklists for this too if you want, guys. If you want a checklist of these questions, put next to it quicker you do it in the morning or whenever you got that half hour spare, then you're like, wow, I've done my work for the day. That was pretty fucking easy. Then you're not so hard on yourself. Then you, when it does get challenging, you're not going to fucking think, fuck, I can't do this. You're going to be like, fuck, for six days in a row, I checked off that checklist, no worries. Today's been a stuff around. All this shit come up that I couldn't handle. I was stuck at work for three or hours longer. All this, you look back at the last week and you go, well, I've been pretty consistent with what I've done. It's not so bad. Don't get so down on yourself. And not cool. So many different ways you can look at this, guys. What else we got here? This is one that we went, and I'm going to do another post probably on the weekend about momentum. That's the next big event. 
That's huge. And I love the fact that a few guys have already booked their tickets and stuff. Um, but the thing with that is the other events, I don't know if you've checked out, there's regionals at the start of May. I don't know if you guys have seen any of that on the website. I think I heard about it. There's one at like the convention centre in the city, or down here at least. Yeah. The regionals are big. Now, I'm going to be in Peru. I haven't fully told Michael about this yet. I know he's expecting me to be at the regionals, but I have to tell him a plan. But they, it is an event, and it's really, really important. So how, how many, and this is a question I have to ask for my team, for you guys, how many of you guys have booked your next event? I have not. Well, how many of you guys have looked at it? That's, that's probably a better one because that's on my list. Because as a team, yeah, look at I, it. I want as many of you guys to go to the event, but I can't book it for you. Well, yeah, I might need to look into the uh, regional one a bit more. We're going boot camp. Yeah. And then just to have a look at it, go to the back office, go to events, have a look when they are. <coughs> that's, that's the easiest way to do it. And it's not about going to a mall too, because I understand everyone's got a lot on. Everyone's got a lot of work. Like I say, Amy and that where you guys are, you've got to travel a bit to get to the events. Grant, myself, all of us, all of us actually, you've got to travel. We're going to make changes to get to an event. But if you're not even having a look at it to see if maybe something can happen or you can even get other people there, because you can get prospects of these events too. You never know. It might be the one, the one decision you make or the one choice you make that turns your business around. It might be. Well, you don't know, you don't know. I know for me, momentum was huge. Hasn't, hasn't skyrocketed my business, but have a look what's happened in the last couple of weeks with the way I'm coming across now. And I'm like, well, fuck, I've got to change what I'm doing and make it better for everyone else because I went to momentum. Event. Doesn't mean that I'm not going to go to the next one and then have another breakthrough and think, fuck, I'm still not doing things right. I've got to teach from what I've learned now. That's why they're cool. Because even the leaders are always learning, guys. Everyone in this business, if you don't know how the way network marketing works or any business, everyone's got to evolve for it to keep happening. This goes right up to the top of the tree. Because you think, if it's the pyramid, like they say, if it is, the more people that come in, the more capacity that leaders have got to have to deal with more people coming in. How do they do that? They've got to evolve. They've got to learn more. They've got to teach differently. It works right down. And events are key for this. Otherwise, they just have one event a year and do the same shit. <clears throat> That's a good way of looking at it, Kyle, too. Yeah, or just like what Steve was saying, he's went to that event and the stuff that he's kind of passing on ripples throughout the team. So if everyone went... Yeah, and everyone... And have a bigger effect. Night, everyone sees... Everyone hears things differently. Everyone will write down things differently. Everyone will see what's been presented a little bit differently. Because guess what? We're all different. It's as simple as that. I can go to all the events and say, everyone just stay at home. I'm going to take shitloads of notes. I'm going to come and teach what I learned. That's the only way to go. It's not going to work for everyone. It's not. Oh my God, it sounds like the education system. <laughs> there you go. Point right there from someone who's still in it. That's why it's that everyone goes and hears it with their own ears, sees it with their own eyes. If you looked at mine and Amy's book from the event, I can guarantee you there's a lot of different shit in there from the same presenter saying the same stuff. Events are key, but back to these questions. This is part of the questions. You don't have to ask yourself all these questions. I'll say that one about events. How many of my team are booked into events? That's important. Yeah. I, I, only I can lead that too. I can lead it, but I can't book you in. So I, I actually can't tick that box off until I know that I've led you good enough to get to an event or, or highlighted the importance of getting to an event. So that's what I've got to do better. And I think too, Steve, with like what you're saying, you know, with your with how we grow and develop, you know, for ourselves and the business. Like we just today we booked in for Tony Robbins. I've seen that. Um in Sydney. So I mean it's not just about world ventures, it's about, you know, the personal development side of it as well and how we can grow as people 
and grow in the business together. Yeah. So, you know, we've got Tony Robbins in May and then we've got boot camp in July. So yeah, everything yeah. that we're doing is building up to that. Yeah, and highlight that stuff too. Like all of us are doing personal development. Guess what? This is personal yeah. development. Learning how to talk to people is personal development. Showing up consistently is personal development because you're getting better consistently. Say 2% every day. 2% every day. I can guarantee most years, if you just show up every day, you're doing more than 2% better every day. It's as simple as that. It is all, all simple stuff, guys. Well, the next lots of questions to ask yourself that I've taken down here don't, don't relate to us because they relate to ranking up. How many in your team have ranked up? And when I talked about people, I, I'm not, I haven't even ranked up yet. Qualification actually is the first rank, guys. So I could actually ask myself this now. How many people have I got to pour? Then, so I've got to get better at what I'm doing. That's as simple as that. That's the way I see it. So I've got to show up more. I've got to pass on knowledge more. I've got to do three-way messages better. I've got to learn more. Because my question there doesn't get answered from zero until someone goes and gets qualified, gets their fault. And Michael above me, why does he push me so hard? His question is, how many people is he getting to rank up? He wants me to rank up so he can tick off that box. Goes all the way out the order. Shane Anderson's got Michael blowing. Wants Michael to go IMD this year. Even though Michael's in rolled 235 people, Shane's sitting there going, how the fuck do I get Michael to rank up? Goes right up the list, guys. These questions come from the top. They ask themselves this, and if they're not ticking the boxes on these or getting the numbers, guess what they're going to be doing? They're going to be taking more action. They're going to be wanting to get better. They're going to be talking to more people. They're going to be training more. They're going to be getting to more events or training at more events or whatever they have to do. That's, they do it. And they've got to the point, I'll go back to consistency right at the start. They've got to where they are now by being consistent. I'm not saying they've shown up every day. I'm not saying that they've shown, saying that they've blitzed it every day. You heard Eric Allen talk, Amy. How about he went nuts at the start. He went crazy nuts. Got 78 enrollments in 90 days or whatever. Then for two years, he was cruising because he had this team and all this sort of stuff. He had the income going in. He come from nothing and got up to that point, took the foot off the, then din, din, din. He wasn't consistent with the same action he was doing. This is a guy who's got, he's at the top of the tree. He's got a million people in his team. There's 1.1 million in World Ventures. But he's not, no, I knew the top income earner. He earns a lot because what happened, he wasn't consistent. He wasn't doing the, the daily things. That. He took the foot off the accelerator. Shit got hard because he wasn't consistent. So he had to get consistent again. And that's what he even said. He goes, from then, he was consistent. He was training more. He was showing up more. He was going to more people. He was working with his team more. Because it, it, it took him to that point of two years into the game to realize that he had to be consistent. And that was his biggest thing. Pretty cool coming from someone up there training just opening up and say, yeah, after two years, I was, I fucked up. <laughs> I, I, I thought I'd done my bit. Not saying that it doesn't work. They say 90 days is all it takes to set the foundation in this business. I go back to my original point. Consistency. Imagine you're consistent with all this for 90 days. You're consistent with it showing up there. You set the foundation. You get that good at this by being super consistent. That after 90 days, it becomes autopilot. I go back to the way the numbers, the law averages. Keep getting them nose, guys. Keep talking to people. Then you're going to get yeses. You are. Next week's training, I'm going to show you another list of my numbers. I'm going to, show, I'm going to keep showing that every couple of weeks. I'm not saying that you all have to do that, but showing that this is how bad I want it to get better at the basic stuff. Because fuck, mine's over 90 days now. I'm way behind on my target because I wasn't consistent. But anyway, I could keep talking about this for ages. I'm going to get in trouble if I keep going for too long. I said I was going to be half an hour tonight. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, my fault. it's my fault everyone was on late too. Ownership. Hmm. <clears throat> 
That's cool. All right. Any questions? Silence. Nope. Nope. All right. Cool. Joshy, key takeaways. I've got to get back on my notes now. Oh. What have you done to me? Key takeaways of the three Are questions. How many people? How many people have I spoken to today? How many people have I showed personally? How many people have I closed today? You've got to put in the group of skills that you've learnt over your life that you've had to work for. Um, is Beach Money a book, Kyle? You're muted, Kyle. If it is. That will help then, us. <laughs> being, being consistent <laughs> through challenges are what get you to the point of success. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> Hey what Steve. Saying, um, this morning we, you, I asked you a question. I can't. Was it something about the binary and how much, how many people you need to make a residual income or something? You said you were going to answer yeah, that tonight. Yeah, I was going to look into that, man. I haven't got into it. I I will get into that, dude. Okay. No, yeah, no. I know. I said I was going to get into that. Yeah. My my focus tonight was setting up my little office. Yeah, that's here. right. I forgot about it. Yeah, nah. I didn't forget, man. My focus tonight was getting this internet working so I could even jump on it. And I've got it now. I've got my little spot in my room, which is cool. Yeah. I'll get it. Because I, I want to be able to show people that too, yep. Grant. And like I say, it's something that's been told to me about the best way to show you guys how the compensation plan works is to do it myself and show you my results. Yeah. Might even do a live feed on a grant. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. I couldn't even remember the question. It was something about, yeah, no, no, residual no. or something. About, yeah, about residual, but at what rank you get certain points and the travel points and all that sort of thing. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. I just, and it goes back to the point earlier too, like what Kyle was saying when Michael said to him about the comp plan at the start. I don't want people to get carried away. But it's good to have a basic understanding of where it kicks in. It might give you guys a bit more of an incentive to push harder. Mm, definitely. Yeah, it might, yeah. I'm not talking about the money. Yeah, so I'm going to talk about the little benefits along the way and where, when it kicks in. Yeah. Hey, guys. It's, um, Amy? Sorry, it's 22.11. Yeah. Is it all right if Lee and I go? Because this man gets up in a few hours for work. Yeah, if you were on earlier, I would have said that yes earlier, but you were late, so no. Of course you should go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Awesome training as always, Steve. Thank okay. you for your time. Thank you guys for jumping on. It's cool to see you guys rocking it on and going to Tony Robbins. That's that's really, really cool. Let's get, let's get the results, eh? I am so fucking excited. Tony Robbins! It's not that exciting. <laughs> it's Tony freaking Robbins. Go, go, go. Pass your bedtime. <laughs> all right, cool, cool. Just a heads up, all of the regional trainings are on Saturday, May the 6th. Awesome. And if you look on the back office, it tells you exactly who the trainers are for everything, too. Do you know what's even better about that day? What's up? Everyone can get ready to send me a present for my birthday on the 7th. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A couple of enrolls. <laughs> that would be a brilliant present. Well, we've lost Porty and I was just about... She's, she's sneaky. I was about to ask her to speak. <laughs> well, you you know what? She is a real person too, guys. You just haven't seen her yet. She's real. I haven't made her up. Fix, fix her times. <laughs> I haven't just made her up. Um, anything else? You've added heaps of gold into this tonight, Kyle. I appreciate that, man. That's really, really good. The um, what about yourself, Grant? Sorry, mate. Your internet's weird tonight, man. You're in a different. You're not in the man cave, yeah. are you? Yeah, I'm just on my phone. Yeah. How's mine coming across? Yeah, what was the question? Yeah, yours 
Yeah, what was your question? What colour is your hair? <laughs> Purple. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was all right, man. I just asked if you got any questions. It's cool. I've always got questions, Steve. I know. That's why I said it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think the task is a good one, guys. I want you to just to, to do that in the group because there's like far out. I think there's <clears throat> about 20, still 22 or something left in the group. A couple have removed themselves. <clears throat> a couple aren't answering calls, but they're still in there. Um, but to show the others that you're showing up for the training for your own benefit too, guys. This is, this is for your own benefit. To show you've been on here, put that little task in the group. Like Josh mm. said before, whatever you've been consistent at over years, you've got a good skill at, put it in there. And how long it's taken you to get there, That's put that in the group. It's going to show a bit of leadership for the other guys too. Because there's, there's a few guys that are just hiding there. They're not, they're not sure what to do. So imagine you were the spark by putting something in there to get them to jump on the next training. Then that could turn into anything. You don't know. Because some of them too, you've got to remember, below you guys on the binary. Two crazy people don't have to come from personal enrollments. Just a thought. Yeah. No. I already got my skill before. As you were talking about how many no's you get per yes, I don't know how I got it, but I was just thinking about like when you go like fishing and stuff, how many miss hits or how many casts you put out there to get a fish. And I was thinking about it, like the amount of hours that I've put in casting to actually be able to land it where I want it now. That's a fucking great analogy. <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> the amount of hours that we've put in just to get like one or two fish over six days. <laughs> well, but that's, that's awesome. I was going to round this up, but that fishing analogy works for me. I used to go away for a week at a time, guys. I used to stand up for probably 16 to 18 hours a day on my boat. Going like this. <laughs> People would call me crazy. Seriously. Why the fuck are you driving fucking 10, 12, 18, 20 hours to do this? Where's all the fish? What are you going to eat? I used to do it heaps. I used to drive to like inland of Bundaberg and get... Zero, chasing barra. The weather turned shit, so I didn't catch shit. And that stand up all day, shoulders came and casting, 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 changing lures, doing everything different. I used to do it, but then, this is, fuck, I'm glad you brought this up, Joshy. You go through my photo collection now, then there'd be one or two trips where I just load up on 1.2 meter barra or 50 kilo cod that I might have cast for six or seven days in the middle of nowhere. 45 to 50 degree heat, if people call me crazy, then I get one fish. And now just do the opposite. Yeah, everyone looks at the photo, they just see the photo. All the other people call me crazy, show them the photo, got that, and you need to tell them yep. the work you put in. It's the same as this, it's a fucking brewing analogy, guys. Changing mm. the lure, changing the spot, taking a different approach. Yeah, well, you know that fish that I put up on Facebook? <laughs> like, I casted for four days. Dad was cleaning up. I didn't get a fish for four days. I casted 12 hours every day and then got that in the last day. There you go. Cool analogy. I might do a video. That is, like that's that. pretty, that is cool. Didn't give up. That's it. it. You know what? Yeah, that's that, probably the best I've ever heard, mate. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but it's lower averages too, guys. <laughs> Two good analogies Joshy used there too was the comparison one. He could have given up. He could have been using exactly the same lure as, as his dad for the same amount of time casting. Could have given up. Could have compared and said, nah, this is not for me. I'm going to go fucking back to camp. It's too fucking cold. But he kept going and on the last day he got the fish. Jesus Christ, it was cold too. <laughs> <laughs> It was like, we checked the weather on the last day and it was 10. It was 10, but it felt like 2.5. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> oh, look, there's my alarm clock. That's a really um, good post for us all to do on our Facebook as well. Like, we could all post up a fishing store, I'm sure, using that analogy yeah. and direct it into what we're doing today. 
because people yeah. you soon talk about fish or something like that people engage i'll read your article sure it's really cool yeah, exactly all right we'll all do it cool yeah yep. it's my morning fish stories done next couple of days that's let's make put a bloke spin on this let's bore the fuck out of some people to get a point across the rex hunt of <laughs> network marketing hey if you've got <laughs> Have you got pictures of fish? Serious? Have you got like, yeah? In my turtle tank. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> 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 go, go. Do you know how like you make the fish look really big? Yeah, you hold it up as close as you can to the camera. <laughs> you the fish tank like this, but you're way here. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's you know. I might have to go buy a fish because I don't think I've got a fish. <laughs> just go onto some of the photos on Facebook, get Photoshop and just cut it out and put it in your own arms. Why not? That's <laughs> a shirt. I've got legit ones, but guys, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use them now. That's because that is a cracking analogy. And it, it works for people like that are around us right now that are in the team. It works for them too. works for you guys. Mm. I don't know about the chicks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to wrap it up because my alarm clock just went off. <laughs> Did you hit the snooze? <laughs> Back in <at> ten. <laughs> You'll be hitting something. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we're missing out. But anyway, so a couple of questions. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Keep the live feed rolling. <laughs> Tilt the camera down a bit. I can just let it roll if you want. I'll just have to change rooms. Keep the light on. Wait, 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 wait. How does in here look? Looks like red tube. <laughs> Brad. <laughs> Enough of that, guys. There you go. Now you'll be able to tell who watched till the end. This is recording. <laughs>